Guys, Coach Logan, raise your hand, keep up for a second. I'll get your name. How are we doing today? Good. Well, I, I think that this scrimmage was really pretty much what we would thought it would be. I think the players that have experience, uh, that have played before, uh, really played well. Uh, the first teams, you know, operated pretty well for the most part. Um, much better execution with the first unit, whether it was first defense, first offense, uh, whatever it was. But then, you know, the the younger players, the more inexperienced players, uh, the concept of, you know, I heard Curtis Martin say this the other day, um, your irresponsibilities become somebody else's responsibility. So. What happens when you're not responsible enough to do your job? It creates an issue for somebody else. Then they try to make up for what you did. Then they can't do what they're supposed to do. And you don't have any team execution. So it all comes back to every individual having the discipline, the mental toughness, the focus to uh, be able to effectively do their job. And I think at this time of camp, things are really, really hard. Uh, I don't think hard necessarily is bad. Uh, I think life is hard, uh, but I don't think it's bad. I'm not complaining. Uh, it's hard right now. I mean, we're working a lot of hours. We're practicing a lot. It's hard for the players, but it's not bad. Uh, but the one thing that we can control, uh, we probably can't control our circumstances all the time. We always can't control our opportunities, uh, but we can control our work ethic. Uh, and how we go about things to get better. Uh, and I think that's what we need to focus on with our players, uh, being positive uh, and trying to uh, get everybody to improve. I'm sure a lot of young players will learn a lot about the experience that they had today. First time out there having to make calls, coaches aren't around to tell them what to do. So it'll be a really, really learning experience for them. And we're looking for guys that have toughness. And as I defined toughness for you before, it's what's your breaking point? All right, where, 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 where do you break? I don't care if it's the heat. I don't care if it's tired. I don't care what it is, but where, where do you break? All right, so we've got to have enough mental toughness to be able to stay focused and sustain things. But we also have to have some competitive character. And anybody that has competitive character can deal with failing. Because the failures are what you have to compete through, what you've got to learn from. Uh, best opportunity to improve. Play the next play. Don't let it affect you and don't let it bother you. So, got a lot of young players that need to grow, you know, and mature in all these areas so that they can uh, go out there and play more effectively. And I think this will be a great learning experience for them, you know, today. Uh, guys, I know you're going to ask me about the quarterbacks and all that, but look. We're going to evaluate the quarterback situation. We're going to keep looking at uh, the guys. What somebody did today or didn't do today is not going to win or lose them the job. Uh, it's going to be the cumulative effect and the consistency that they practice with and play with over time. And uh, that's in fairness to both players who are really good competitors and really working hard and really doing a good job. So um, we don't have much more to say than, than that about that situation. Uh, Jamie Mosley uh, was out of the scrimmage today because of a separated shoulder. I don't think this is a long-term injury, uh, something that he'll probably you know, work back into, maybe out for you know, several more days. But certainly, we, we're, we're hoping that he'll be back for the first game. Um, who else was out today? Oh, D. Wright also has a shoulder issue um, that is being evaluated, uh, has been evaluated. And we, I don't think we've come to a conclusion on the best, what the best course of action is. You know, Dr. Uh, Kane and uh, the family are sort of working through that right now. So we're hopeful that uh, this is something that can be managed and maybe he can play uh, this season. But uh, that kind of remains to be seen. Quentin Williams so far in camp, and what kind of a role is he competing for? Quentin Williams? Yes. He's really played well. Um, you know, I, th I think he's one of the guys that I'm really proud of and probably exemplifies all the things that I've just been talking about. If you looked at him as a young player, how he's developed and what he's grown into, uh, improving himself physically, having a lot of maturity, really plays with a lot of effort, really smart player. Um, and 
you know, I think is one of our most productive guys up front right now. Back here on the left. We saw the freshman linebacker Keho out there for the first time from Washington. How did it come about that he came here, and, and what does he bring to this defense? Well, um, you know, there are circumstances, and I don't know all the circumstances, where if a guy doesn't get admitted to the school that he signed to go to, um, then he gets an opportunity to go someplace else, and he can get a release, or he can choose to try to get eligible over time but not be able to enroll in school. So um, I think, as I understand it, um, he was unable to get in school for academic reasons uh, because of their institutional policies, not because of NCAA rules. And he could get in school at most other institutions. So he had opportunities to go other places. He didn't want to sit out and continue to try to take other classes so that he could go to the school that he had signed at. And we were one of the people that recruited him and uh, came down to the wire in terms of whether we got him or not. So, um, you know, when he got his release, um, we let him know that he had an opportunity to come here and we're glad to have him. We think he'd be a good player. Now, he has to go through all the acclimation that every other player has to go through. So he was in shorts today. He'll be in shorts the next time we practice. He'll have to go in shoulder pads for two practices and then he can get pads. And, you know, we'll do the best we can to try to catch the guy up and see if he can make a contribution in some way to the team this year. Coach Rob Franklin, Chris. Weekend at camp, how the uh, defensive backs as a whole, how are they looking? Uh, you know, I, I think we've made some progress. I, I think there's, um, you know, Savion has made improvement. Trayvon Diggs has made improvement. Um, Xavier McKinney has done a really, really good job. Um, he really started to come into his own at the end of the last year. Just never had much opportunity to play. Deontay had to play the last couple games in the playoffs and the championship game after Hootie got hurt. So I think that experience has helped his confidence. Um, but, but really the depth uh, past Shaheem then is, um, you know, really all freshmen. I mean, pr pretty much all freshmen. Um, you know, Jared, Jared Maiden has made significant improvement at safety. So... Um, you know, we're making progress, uh, and I'm, I'm not disappointed on uh, the work ethic or how these guys are going about it. They're conscientious, um, but I think it's going to be critical that the freshman players that we have on our team develop into guys that can play in the secondary and on special teams, or, you know, it's going to create a, a real depth issue for us. Um, Coach, you had kind of a, a young group of returning receivers anyway, Ruggs, Judy, Devontae. Um, how are some of the other players who have come in or, or who did not play as much at wide receiver last year um, sort of added to that group? Um, well, you know, those three guys have had, you know, had really good springs. Um, they've been had very productive fall camps. Um, so we're really, really pleased with, with those guys. Um, you know, we have a couple freshmen that I think can make a contribution to the team. And um, I don't want to put a lot of pressure on them by talking about them right now. But uh, they've done really, really well. And I think that'll be helpful. And I think some of the older players that we have um, need to improve and accept the role as well, which I think a lot of the depth at that position is a little bit up in the air right now. And um, that's one of the things that I would allude to when I talked earlier about, you know, guys being able to mature that have not played to be able to make a, a positive contribution um, because of, you know, their discipline, toughness, ability to sustain, uh, those types of things, which uh, past those first three guys, we, we really got to gotta work on it. Uh, regarding KO, um, how, how hard or uh, you know how tough is it going to be to get him up to speed, uh, given the fact that he's just entering the program at this I, stage? I can't answer that. I, I don't know. I mean, hypothetical question. We're going to do the best we can every day. I I don't know how hard it's going to be. It depends on how fast he learns. It depends on you know. It depends on a lot of things. Um, so what kind of condition is he in? How much can we do with him? A lot of questions, 
you know, and they're not bad questions. We're glad to have the guy here, and we're looking forward to the opportunity to help him be successful as a person, as a student, and as a player. Um, but how long it's going to take, I don't, I don't know. I wish this was a magic wand that I could just, you know, sort of, it's not the Wizard of Oz. Linebackers that could play. What did you see from them, especially from some of the younger guys like Markel Benton and Jalen Moody? Uh, I think those are the, the same kind of guys I've been talking about all day here. Um, you know, I thought you know Dylan and Mac played really, really well. Uh, and then past that, you know, missed tackles, missed assignments, uh, players not playing together, not being responsible to do their job. And it's not out of a lack of effort or a lack of trying. Uh, it's knowledge, it's experience, it's confidence, it's discipline, uh, it's eye control, looking at the right things. Um, and, you know, we, we, need, we need for those guys to improve, no, no, no doubt. Okay, Coach, thank you. All right, thank you.